Hey there, Scouts! Today we get to go on a tour of the Stewart Police Department. We will get a behind-the-scenes look at the station, and our Scouts will get to ask questions about the officers' jobs and how to stay safe. Let's go! Hi, I'm Shanna Richardson with the Cub Scouts, and I have a special guest with us today, Master Officer Leadham, and he's going to take us on a tour of his police station. Hey everybody, I'm Master Officer Leland with Stewart Police. We're down here in Florida and we're going to do a walkthrough of the Stewart Police Department and kind of show you guys how we go about every day. My name is Lisa Scott and I'm the Executive Assistant to the Chief of Police here at the Stewart Police Department. Is it okay to talk to police officers? Yes, it is okay for children to talk to police officers. Children should know that if you need help, if you're in trouble, that you should go to a police officer to get help. That's They're also here to protect those who are in trouble. So children need to know that it's okay to talk to a police officer if you're in trouble, if you need help, if you need 911, that's what they're there for and they will help you. This is our patrol briefing room. This is where every shift comes at the beginning of their shift in order to talk about what happened when they were off. So if you were off for a couple of days, you're going to read over everything that happened in the past two days, or even if you were off overnight, what happened while you were off overnight. So everything that happens within the city, we all hear about when we come back into work. This way everybody knows what's going on and we know where to be for the problem. Hi, my name is Heather Roth. I'm a captain at the Stewart Police Department. I'm in charge of the support side of the police department. So that is the detectives, it's code enforcement, it's records department, it's also community policing, it's everybody that helps Road Patrol do their jobs. That's what I'm in charge of. What do I do if I get separated from my parents? Well, if you're separated from your parent at a mall or at Disney World or anywhere else you should do, you need to go to a good adult. A good adult is somebody who's working at a store that has a name tag on and you can go to them and you can tell them that you're separated from your parents or you can go to a cash register, or you can go up to um, somebody that looks like they work there, or to a, maybe another mom or a dad with little kids, somebody that looks like that they can help you and tell them that you're separated. But don't leave the store. All right, so in here, right now, it just looks like a big empty room, but this is where we do a lot of our training. Like if we have any classes, because although we're police officers, we still have to go to classes all the time. We have to learn about new things and new ways to help people and keep updated on the laws and things like that. This is also where if we have an emergency like a natural disaster here where we are, one of the things that we have a lot of is hurricanes. So a lot of times this room right here will be used as our emergency operations center where we can put up all sorts of information on whatever's going around. We have a big screen right back here. We have a couple of different TVs on the wall. And we also have a ham radio room in here. So when you move up to the troop level and you want to use that skill to learn ham radio operation, you might have a job in our emergency operations center during an emergency. My name is Michael Gerwin. I'm the detective sergeant with the Stewart Police Department. I'm in charge of the detective bureau. What skill is most important to do your job? The most important skill to do my job is to listen to people. Listen to every little detail and document everything that you hear and everything that you see because it could be the smallest little clue that could break the case. All right, this is where we keep all of our stuff for our canines, and that's our police dogs. So this is one of their kennels or just like a little area for them to go into so we can travel around with them if they're not inside their police car. Each one of our dogs has a police car specially made for them and they get a police officer to drive them around all day. And this is where we keep their food and their toys. So I am Detective TJ Delancey. I am a detective over the evidence uh, department here at the Stewart Police Department and I've been an officer here just about 16 years. Can I be a police officer when I grow up? I believe everyone can become a police officer, stay on the right track in life. When I was a young child, I knew I wanted to be a police officer. I went and spoke to a resource officer at my high school as I got a little older, and he told me, stay on the right track, focus yourself, 
and um, one day you too could be where I am. Everything is possible. So just remember, one of the things in scouting is being mentally strong, physically strong. This is our gym where we, as police officers, stay physically strong. We have all the equipment that we need here to work out and to uh, keep ourselves in shape that we can help people when needed. Uh, this is common in most police uh, departments that you'll see a gym, and this is ours. Yes, I'm Master Officer Tammy Farnham. Uh, I have been with the City of Stewart for 25 years, and right now I'm assigned to community relations, so I get to go out and do a lot of community events and activities uh, out and about in the community. How do you know if someone's a bad person? Hmm, how can you tell if somebody's a bad guy? Well, unfortunately, they don't come with labels, and they don't come with a mask that says, I'm a bad guy. And a lot of times, bad guys don't even look like bad guys, so there really is no way to tell if someone's a bad guy, but usually your gut will tell you when you talk to somebody or you get a vibe or a feeling, but there's no, there's no easy answer to that. Bad guys can come in any sex, size, shape, color, so there's, there's no warning labels. All right, everybody, this is our patrol report area. These are all the paper reports for things that we do. Like if we see somebody left their car doors unlocked, this is a note that we can show them that their door was unlocked. And just different reports and things that we have, whether it be parking tickets or traffic tickets or if something goes missing or any any kind of form that we need to use it's right here um, and this is where we get it all uh, I'm officer Sperry with the Stewart Police Department I'm a part-time police officer and I'm on road patrol what's that on your bell uh, there's a few things the first thing is an ask for a baton um, we'll whip it out and extend it about this far uh, you can use it for multiple things uh, obviously the next thing is my gun I'm not going to take that out and uh, there's pepper spray in this pouch right here. Uh, you can use this for multiple things as well. Um, and here's my handcuffs. I keep handcuffs in this big pouch. I also keep them in my back pocket. Um, there's also my taser. I'm not going to take that out as well. Uh, these are ammo pouches for my gun. I'm on my left side because I'm a right handed shooter. It's easier for me to reload with my left hand. Uh, my radio is right here in this big pouch. Uh, this is my body camera. Uh, records everything that I do. Uh, for my safety and uh, other people's safety, and then obviously pen and notepad for important things. What is your favorite part of the job? The most favorite part of my job is educating the public on our ordinances so they can come into compliance. And what is an ordinance? It's basically a law that the local government or your local city commissioners pass. All right, everybody. Well. This right here is my, my police car on my patrol car. So what you're going to notice about it is, is that we all have stickers on them for the most part. Some don't, but a lot of them do. Ours are going to say police on them real big, and you're going to see where they work. So mine says steward. Almost every agency around is going to say where they work at. So this way it's a really easy way to identify the police cars because they say police on them. And they also have this nice light bar on top. Thanks for joining us on this tour of the Stewart Police Department. Have a great scouting day.